Good morning everyone on Feed Feed. It's Debbie here from Simply Beautiful Eating. I just want to tell you a little bit about myself first before we get to this matzo crunch. Most of you know me from Instagram or Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, and my blog simplybeautifuleating.com. I also edit two feeds on the Feed Feed, the Blueberry Feed and the Waffle Feed. Both are really yummy. You need to check them out. Some of you may not even know what Passover is or what matzo is. I'm going to tell you about both of those in one second. So Passover is the festival commemorating the deliverance of Israelites from slavery in Egypt. This happened a long time ago. During Passover, we can't eat any leavened bread, and that's why we eat matzah. Let me explain what matzah is in a sec. Okay, I never thought I would be posing with a piece of matzah, but this is what it looks like. It's a flat, dry cracker. That's about it. So the first two nights of Passover, do you like me with this piece of matzah still? Um, I'm going to tell you what happens. Okay, so first two nights of Passover, we have what we call seders. And seders are a time for family to gather and celebrate. And during those seders, we read from a special book that tells a story about Passover. And uh, we also do something special with the matzah for the kids. You want to know what we do with the matzah? We break off a piece of it and we hide it. And if one of the kids finds it, they usually get a special treat. So I'm going to tell you what I used to do when I was a kid. I never used to look for the matzah because I thought it was yucky. Okay, are you ready to get to this matzah crunch? I'm going to show you all the ingredients right now. Let's go. So here you have it, folks. Matzah, chocolate chips, brown sugar, butter, salt, vanilla, dried fruit, nuts, and some chocolate. Okay, we're at step one. Line your baking sheet with foil and parchment paper, and then just fit in some matzah pieces into it. Step two, you've got two sticks of butter in a small saucepan, and we're gonna add one cup of brown sugar to it. Just keep an eye on this and keep stirring it until it comes to a nice bubble. And I'm gonna show you what's next. Easy so far, right? I think you can see this. There's little bubbles around the edges and it's becoming almost caramelized, but this is what we call the toffee making part. So this happens pretty quickly. Right after it comes to a bubble, you're going to get a thickening of this, and we're almost done. All right, I have a perfect consistency here. Can you see this? It's bubbly. It's really, really, really nice and thick, and we're ready to I just added a dash of salt and a teaspoon of vanilla, and we're ready to pour this onto the matzah. Let's go. Okay, let's do this. The matzah is coated with this uh, toffee and it's going into the oven for a few minutes now. I'll see you soon. I've got the matzah in the oven, but I am going to check it after about 10 minutes to see that it's not burning. If it does start to get brown, just turn the oven down to 325. Right, it's time to have a look and see what's doing in the oven. Let's go. Da, 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 da. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. It's nice, bubbly. I'm going to leave it for a couple more minutes and then it's done. You know what that means. It means it's time to take this out. There's hot toffee on top of here, and I want to stick my whole face into this, but first, let's sprinkle those chocolate chips on top. There's about a cup and a half of chocolate chips on here because um, the more chocolate chips, the better. So now we leave this for five minutes. I've just set my timer for five minutes because the chocolate chips need to melt on top of the toffee, and, uh, and then we're going to spread them. Remember the Wicked Witch of the West when she said, I'm melting, I'm melting. That's what's happening here. Ding, ding, the bell just rang. Let's spread these chocolate chips. First of all, if you don't have an offset spatula, you need to get one because this makes the job a heck of a lot easier. Look, zing. Could you please just look at this chocolate heavenliness so you know what's going on underneath here? The mutz is still there. Who cares? This comes next. We're just going to top the matzah with some dry ingredients, nuts and dry fruit, and it's going to make it a heck of a lot better. Isn't this fun? Next are the nuts. A 
And now the pistachio nuts, which I have a story about, by the way. Hang on. Yes, there's the matzo crunch with all the dry ingredients. Now all we need is a little patience because we have to have this set. Most of you know me and you know I have no patience, so I'm going to pop this matzo crunch in the fridge. It's going to speed things up a bit. Just in case you want a step-by-step, -step, I've got this on my blog today. Full recipe with pictures and the cutest video you've ever seen. According to my niece who lives in the United States, she says she can't find shelled pistachio nuts. Well, guess who shells them? Me! Okay, hang on. If you live in Canada like I do, there are bulk food stores that sell shelled pistachio nuts. They're like a million dollars a pound, but I mean... Time to move on to this step. These are white chocolate melting wafers and I'm going to throw them into the microwave for a few seconds to drizzle over the matzah. I'm just doing these in 30 second increments. It's the easiest thing to do. Um, takes about a minute and a half in the microwave. See? Getting nice and melty. It's going to need about another 30 seconds before it's ready. Perfect, perfect, and perfect. That's the consistency that you want. I don't like wasting time, so I'm putting this chocolate drizzle right in a zippy bag. No muss, no fuss. Done. Boom. See how easy this is? I don't have to clean anything. I don't even have, if I'm careful, I don't even have to clean the cup. It's perfect. I just pulled this matzo crunch out of the fridge and it is perfect. It's ready for the drizzle. You still with me? I'm going to cut a teeny tiny hole in this bag at the corner and then it's time to drizzle for schnizzle. Oh boy, look at this crunch. It is stunning. I love it. Popping this back in the fridge for another five minutes just to make sure the white chocolate is set and then it is time to crack the crunch. Let's have a look and see what's doing in here. This is my fridge, by the way. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it's almost ready. So you know what they say, the first crack is the deepest. I'm going to pick this up and crack it. I just finished cracking this matzo crunch and as you can see, it looks delicious. This is delicious, and it even it even makes me want to say that I like matzo now. <laughs> I just wanted to thank all of you for joining me on the Feed Feed Snapchat today. I hope you enjoyed my matzo crunch recipe, and I have a couple more things to tell you before I go. How would you like to do a Snapchat takeover on the Feed Feed? I bet you would, because it's lots of fun. We had fun, right? Anyways, going to have that information for you coming up on the next snap. Okay, guys, that was... That was a lot of fun. I'm heading back over to my Snapchat at SimplyB123 to make some more goodies for Passover. Join me over there.